Well, hello, Dildo. Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Uh, through their sneak attack ability, rogues have the highest weapon damage. Oh. Yeah, s rogues. Man, rogues sound so badass. But only when playing in solo, like by themselves, I don't really see the point of a rogue in a group other than you know um scout out the area before uh you know the, the whole group goes in but that's you know ranger can do that as well so yeah i don't know the, the only useful the, the only use for a rogue i guess would be you know apart from scouting would be just giving the first strike Dealing the first strike, just you know, he sneaks up behind some enemies, like or one of the enemies, he kills the guy, then you know the the, the rest of the group attack. But you know that's that's no no. Anyway, I should probably camp. Why not? Um. Camping allows your party members to restore lost health and res... Is that spelled right? Receive? Receive... I think there should be an I there instead of there. Not before E, but after. Anyway, uh, camping bonus. Camping will consume a camping supply. Healing twenty percent healing received. I guess healing. Oh, what is this? A nightmare. Sure. Eight hours have passed. Oh. So what's our plan now? I guess just find the nearest town. Should probably see Stand it. Should done. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that's another ghosty thing. Shattered pieces of a crate. Why do you wish? To go? Let's avoid that. The grass is still flat and behind the vines we are. Okay. There's a bridge here. Oh no 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 no! Outlaw. We don't want to fight outlaws now. For how long? How long do I have the multiplier? Yeah, let's go to the town and then maybe recruit someone or equip ourselves better. Hold on, and then we can. Uh, you know, kill bandits and stuff. Good day, stranger. Uh, this man appears to be hurriedly dismantling his camp in quick, jerky movements. He looks up as you approach. His, his expression tense and drawn. Greetings, he says, a little breathless. On your way south, is it? He wipes his Bro, turning to face you. The sooner you're clear of these woods, the better, I think. Our caravan was attacked. I've been trying to get to Gilded Whale. Never mind the woods. There's a strange machine in ruins up north. There are these figures, clad in black, performing some kind of rite. Rit, right? Ritual. What's your hurry? I'm only passing through. I mean to reach Gilded Whale. I shouldn't reveal too much. 
uh, my caravan was attacked. Hard luck, and I'm sorry to hear it. You should be fine from here. There's no missing the whale if you keep to the road, and you haven't far, and you haven't far to walk. But you'll want to keep clear of this place after that. I, we were just attacked north of here. Me and a friend of mine, we came out here to hunt some deer. Came up on a bear instead. Great monstrous thing and pearly. He didn't make it. He shakes his head. The, the bear or oh the pearly, pearly yeah pearly didn't make it. Um, I don't know what I'll tell his wife. In any case, this forest already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Where is your home? What happened to your friend? Well, the bear killed him, I suppose. I guess. Right? We didn't see it coming. Nor Norton voice shakes a little as he speaks. We were following a stag. Hurley, he saw something in the brambles, and we went tearing off after it. We all but stumbled into the cave. Poor Pearly didn't stand a chance. The bear was on top of him before we knew what was happening. The beasts will take what they will, I suppose. He smiled sadly. And this time, Galavine's, Galavine's favor fell upon the bear. In any case... Yeah. Where did you f well, uh, yeah, where did you find this bear? In a cave, a ways up that, he turns to point to the northwest. I wouldn't seek it out if I were you. It was a great brute of a beast, would hate to hear that it took another life. Well, I guess thanks for the warning, but uh, who are you? Name is Nonton, born raised in Gilded Whale. So, you're going home from Gilded Whale? Haven't had a spot of luck since his face twists. Luckier than Pearly, I suppose. Unless you are going... Wait, so you're going back to Gilded Vale. Okay. But didn't you say don't stick around in Gilded Vale? Or did you say don't stick around in, uh, in the forest? So there's stuff there. I'll I'll, I'll explore more uh, when I come back. Eight hours. Sure, sure. Once you have gained access to the stronghold, the menu can be accessed at any time from the central HUD. What stronghold? Do you mean the village, the town, the city? Can I have my own? A campment thing? Can I have my own like castle or something? A stronghold of my own? That's pretty cool. Oh no, it's a night time. Oh, the thing updated. Uh, across the Vale Wood. Guild Gilded Vale is said to be one of the most pros prosperous villages full of opportunities. Oh, land. It's not quite what I was expecting. But how do you know? I haven't seen it yet. Oh. Oh, 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 wow, wow. What is happening here? I uh, should probably turn back. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Damn. I feel at home already. Uh, I don't want to insult him. I might reconsider your lord's offer. Nonsense. Gilded Vale is a perfectly suitable village for those who respect the Lord's decrees. Besides, you won't find a better offer anywhere else in the Deerwood these days. And you look as if you could use a fresh start. True, true, but fresh start here? 
He looks around the town, his face a mask of sober contentment. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. What's Widewind's legacy? Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? What? No. No. Are you absolutely certain? Lord, Lord Radric, Radric has made sorry. it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should you? warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. He steps to the side and inclines his head ever so slightly towards the deformed tree. His lordship's wife is with child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with the biowack. Is there someone in town who could help? You said something about hollow burn and been and this legacy before. I'm not gonna tell that. Uh, you said something about the Hollowborn and Win Widwin's legacy before? What's Widwin's legacy? Uh, he blinks. I forgot that you foreigners do not have this curse in your homelands. The Hollowborn have been a scourge, scourge upon the Deerwood for almost 15 years now. He lowers his voice to a whisper. Children born without souls. He shakes his head. Pitiful, dumb things that breathe, barely, but do not truly live. Some say the hollowborn are, are a disease. Some say they are a punishment from the gods. He raises his empty hands. In truth, no one knows, but they began to sp they began spreading after the Saints' War, and so the name Wadewind's legacy stuck in honor of that foul, blasphemous pretender. His voice shakes with vitriol. I see. Lord Redrick's decrees may seem strict at times, but he has our best interests at the heart, he nods. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone in Gilded Vale understands our rule. Uh, well, uh, I, I'm actually feeling quite strange after a uh, close call with Biowack. Is there someone in town who could help, like a medic or doctor? Whatever you're problem it sounds like a matter for an animancer however animancer. The animancer in gilded vale isn't in any condition to speak consider oh. yourself fortunate after she failed lord radrick we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others a bad cure is often worse than none at all that's true because the, the bad cure could either you know hinder the the health of uh, a person or you know uh, gives false hope and you know that's also bad but if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead audra what? pebble to rub on your forehead what? you're welcome to check her pockets oh a oh stink is nothing when you're digging for shit what my advice however is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that okay Goodbye. I don't really want to tell him about that. Bye. Keep out of. Out of what? Oh. Listen. Uh, is the baby born? Or... Two tolls. Let that be the last. Uh, someone is attacking. Three. Gods have mercy. No. Did the kids it die? It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Why? Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. Did he Either die? Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. So did he die, or did his heir die? You should 
tried to get it, yeah. So, so I, su I don't suppose i be able to settle down then. I can't be sure of nothing right now. Advise you to get some rest. The inn or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. So what what, what happened here? I will know more details when the messengers arrive. Oh, well, yeah, of course. The vagaries of childbirth, perhaps, but that is not your concern. You come to us at the time of mourning. The legacy has struck to the heart of Gilded Vale. Our efforts to redeem ourselves in the eyes of Wrath must be redoubled, he said to steady gaze on you. Okay, farewell, I suppose. Farewell. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Completed. Oh dear. Were you looking for someone in that tree? I could introduce you. Uh, strange way to talk about your dad. He looks up at the tree and breathes, breathes out. Half the town's up there now, seems like. No right way to talk about it. I'm looking for someone who can help me feel better. Uh, he gives an understanding nod as he takes a long drag from his pipe. My condolences. He exhales and turns his attention away, watching the village around him. I didn't mean, like... Never mind. What's this? Some burnt church? Temple of Eoth... Oh, I don't want to go down there. Thilphalion. As you near, as you near, you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul. Voices from its past seem to call out to you. Reach out for the soul. Oh my God! <sighs> you see a pennant waving tall and sluggish in the wind. A rising sun embroidered on the banner. The vanguard of a small troop of paladins. The atmosphere is buoyant, if restrained, and their armor has not yet been tarnished by the elements. This expedition is fresh, young, filled with zest and zeal. At their head stands a commander, awkward in full armor but determined in step. Despite the excitement of his fellows, he does not smile. There's a twist to his mouth. His countenance grim. He throws up a hand, halting his troops. His troop. Silence falls among them, revealing a dark thunder, deep and low. He orders them to ready their weapons and spread out. Eyes start from horizon to horizon, or horizon from to horizon. Next twisting to see the source of the sound. In the distance, dust and lightning rise from the ground as Stygian clouds race towards the towards the them overhead. The soldiers stand only the staccato movement of their breath betraying their nerves. The commander closes his eyes, calling a blessing down his troop. Invigorated, invincible, they wait as the enemy draws closer, poised to attack. Okay. That was weird. Right. Can I go inside people's houses? Maybe. Once you have gained access, oh yeah. Who cares? Oh, hey. Incred, this man and woman appear to have been 
Deep in conversation, working at closing two bulging satchels, they moved to embrace until the woman 